Alright, so here I am at the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo, and it's crowded here! And there's lots of stuff. Here, let me just start showing you guys shit. Got a box, box systems, box 32X. There's a uh, boxed fantasy, or Final Fantasy 3 for 130 and a boxed Chrono Trigger for 180 uh, That'd be great. Sega Saturn Becca, that's 30 bucks. $70 seventy bucks for a box 32X. Panzer Drink Goon Saga for the Saturn. 200 bucks. Did you want some small yeah, so we'll have a that shouldn't be as bad, but yeah, I'll wait you about an hour or two. Sixty bucks. Ooh. Oh my God, Lucia! Lucia two. Oh my God. You have better access to it right now than I do. Ogre battle. Secret of Mana. I'm gonna go kind of. Well, next year we're giving you a walk talk. Okay, sorry. Then we <laughs> 3 do games. Grandia. Sino Gears. Mandel Hard. The other one in the box is five dollars, but it's a little jacket. Tactics Ogre for a hundred bucks. My God. I want this for fifty bucks. Ah, I'm gonna go broke here. That's a weird controller. It's a Nintendo with a screen on it.
200 bucks. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna miss it. Second <laughs> man. Panasonic 3DO, 100 bucks. There's a circuit inside there that turns the digital signal from this into analog for the Vectrex. Oh, okay. The cable comes from a Genesis controller. Oh, yeah? And then, uh, so it basically, oh, yeah. it all but That's two amazing. of the original Vectrex games, even though the, the controller was analog, yeah. converted the analog to digital anyway. So you can use that to basically emulate all the directions and play most games. Huh. Like Berserk is an example of a game where your scores will be higher, guaranteed, when you use a D-pad. I also do a Genesis version. That's really cool. What do you find in A little screw steel one. Mostly the same thing now. And dust cut. I got a Fantasy Star 4 for 30 bucks. Uh, Starcraft, 35 bucks for the 64. Did you buy it? I'll deal with the consequences. Yeah. It'll be fine. Turtles four. Let's get busted. Okay. Great. Breadwinner gets fired. Fantastic. Twenty-five bucks. Contract. Thirty-five bucks. So it's seventy-five percent off. My God. Game. Company. Neat. Yeah. And this is all soap. It's all soap. We don't sell anything here that isn't soap. Uh, it's all soap. Give it a smell. What do they all smell like? Uh, well, that one's supposed to be Dr. Pepper. We've got Bay Rum here. Oh, they're labeled. Yeah. Uh, yeah Mountain... Yeah. No, that one's not Mountain Dew. Where did the Mountain Dew go? Mountain Dew's our biggest seller, so I don't actually know if we'll have any left. Bay Rum scented soap. Wow. What are these? Soap. Soap. Oh. It's all soap. We have over 66. This is soap. Available. We have the original Legend of Zelda soap for, Mortal Kombat 2 soap for, Chrono Trigger, Zombies Eat Different Saber, Pokemon. Couple, one strawberry rhubarb. Pepsi. What are you getting? Um. Yes, we do. Oh. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Give it a scent. Give it a smell. Pretty cool. So. Didn't expect this to have Ninja Gaiden. I know, right? Uh, I got one Mountain Dew scented soap. Wow. Wow. We even have. Do it up.
Donkey Kong Country competition cartridge, 700 bucks. Alright guys, I'm just heading back to my car to drop off some of the stuff I bought. Man, I wish I had more money. Like, I could seriously spend every last dime I have at this place. Uh, like, I set a spending limit of 100 bucks, like on games. Uh, I've already spent half of it, and I just kind of got a few games, like, cheaper ones, just to, that I wanted for my collection. And now, I want to get, like, a good game, like an expensive game, but I don't know which one, because they've got them all here. Like, they've got, like, I can't decide if I want to get Xenogears, or Chrono Trigger, well, let's see, I already have Chrono Trigger for PlayStation or on the PlayStation. And then they have, like, they have boxed Fantasy Star games that I want. So, I don't know, you know, I'm just not really used to uh, paying these kind of prices, you know, after going to thrift stores and stuff for so long. Like, I don't really shop at game stores. So, the stuff I got, or stuff that I, want for my collection and now it's coming down to like do I want to buy it for my collection or do I want to buy it to play like, here because here's what I'm getting at like Fantasy Star 4 I have on Xbox 360 on the Genesis collection so you know I really can't see spending 35 bucks for a box copy that's the other thing box copies are always going to be like 20 bucks more at least. <laughs> uh, and you know, I already have Chrono Trigger on the PS1, so why buy that? Uh, Alright, so here's the deal with the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, you know, it's like shopping at any other uh, video game store, really, as far as prices are concerned. Like, I was expecting to find uh, some good deals, but no, everything's just priced at market value. I mean, after doing the thrift store thing for so long, I kind of have trouble paying, you know, 40, 50 bucks for a game. Um, you know, when I found 40, 50 dollar games at Goodwills for like two, three, five bucks, you know. So. I don't know. And then I'm kind of fighting with myself over, do I really want that? I mean, do I just want it to have as part of my collection? Or am I going to play it? Because, I mean, they had, like, a box copy of Final Fantasy III for 50 bucks, complete in box. But I already have Final Fantasy III on the Final Fantasy Anthology on PlayStation. Uh... You know, same thing with Chrono Trigger. You know, they had a copy of Chrono Trigger there for 60 bucks. And... I don't know. It's like... It's not really hunting, you know? It's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's kind of... You know, I hate to say that I hyped this up so much, but I'm kind of disappointed. It's really crowded. They, I, they think they overbooked it. Like, it's hard to even move around the vendor area. I don't know. I was coming down here and expecting, like, like a video game flea market. And it's kind of like that, but expensive. I don't know. Uh, you know, I didn't come down here to buy $50 games. I found, I came down here to find $50 games for 20 bucks. Shit like that. And it's, I'm not finding it. Contra. 35 bucks. My god.